Can you learn to play the guitar from watching YouTube videos? Question I guess asked quite a lot. Now a lot of people's experiences of YouTube and trying to learn to play the guitar are they find the video of the song I want to learn, you click play, you then present it with an advert. There's the first thing. And sometimes these adverts are you can't learn to play the guitar on YouTube, you should sign up for this guitar course, which doesn't set you with a lot of confidence that you're going to be able to learn to play the song. The video starts pro uh, introduction, with fire, you will fire and all sorts of pirate techniques, uh, which is quite impressive. There's a jovial presenter uh, presenting it. Uh, he asks you to subscribe, um, click the notifications, check out the description, my Patreon page, make a donation, check out my website, my name, drop 101 different guitarists he's played with. Before you actually get, you're about five minutes in before you actually get into the song. The song is then played. Uh, many, uh, when I've been doing research for songs, um, you know, it's, it's something like a Beatles song which has two. Uh, two guitarists and a bass player. You'll have multi screen where the whole thing's played through. He's playing all the parts, he's absolutely amazing. You get, you know, halfway through this, you know, this guy's amazing. So you, you click subscribe, you click like, you might even click in the comments to tell him that he's brilliant. Then you get to the explanation, and then the explanation for playing the song kind of just goes straight over the top of your head. Uh, there might not be any guitar tab on the screen to make things clear. And sometimes they're using phrases that you've never heard of. That, you know, it's, this is an A mixolydian, and you're at a point where you learn how to play the guitar, but you don't know what A mixolydian is. So, therefore, you have no real way of knowing how to proceed or learn the song. And then you start blaming yourself that it must be your lack of ability that has, you know, that hasn't enabled you to be able to learn the song. And there's so many people feel like that when they watch videos. Now, it's not to say that that was anything wrong with that video. It just wasn't aimed for your requirements. If you were a pro guitarist, it would probably be the ideal video for you. But when you think of the question, can you learn to play guitar from YouTube videos? It's quite a loaded question, because what is actually learning to play the guitar? Uh, as an example, it's, uh, to show you what I mean, a few years ago, my washing machine broke down. The repairman came and he looked at it and went, oh, you know, kind of kicked it a few times, shook his head, where you know, it's, your washing machine's dead, it's unfixable. I've got a one in my van that you can have for £600 and it was like, well, that isn't going to happen. So he went, he's married with my wife, because he's quite clever. Looked on YouTube, found a, a video, and all it needed was uh, the brushes on the drum, apparently. Uh, needed replacing, she sent for them on eBay, they cost about a pound. She replaced them, washing machine lasted another good couple of years. Does that mean that she is now a fully qualified repair person when it comes to washing machines? No. If you followed the instructions and was able to repair it, which is not a, a repairman or re a repair person. Interestingly, because she's getting her confidence with doing things like that, she's fixed this purple Ibanez when I put um, Seymour Duncan pickups in it. No, sorry, Damasio pickups in it. Who rewired them for us? I got a, a YouTube video on how to, how to sold and how to do that, and she did it. She followed the instructions. Now, I couldn't do that, which kind of explains that some people are good at following things and other people aren't necessarily that good at following instructions. We all learn in different ways. Uh, and that's where you want to really ask yourself the question, what do you consider learning to play the guitar? Is it just strumming a couple of chords? Is it being able to play like Dave Gilmore that you want to learn to do? So it's it's quite a, a big, uh, it covers a lot of areas type of question. Now, like we've said, there's a lot of different types of videos on YouTube from the guy sitting on the end of the bed who isn't a guitar teacher who's just explaining for his own satisfaction how to play something because he wants to share it. There's the pro shot one where really it's ideal for pro guitarists. It's uh, it, You've got to be at a certain level if you're a beginner it's going to just leave you lost. It's not to say it's a bad video it's just not aimed for you. Then there's the video which is the overly explained video. Um, 
where when you make a guitar video, you have to assume certain that the person knows certain things. You get some really good videos that assume that you know nothing. It sounds like a good idea, but you know, if it's a three chord song, it should take five minutes to explain. This is a C chord, and then they start explaining where to put your fingers for a C chord. So for a, a beginner, that's brilliant. If you're advanced, it's like watching paint dry because you think, well, I already know how to do this. I watched a video and I was looking up how to play a Kiss song. I wanted to double check and it was really three power chords. In the guitar lesson, it was 20 minutes long. It, it was something that should have taken five minutes to explain, but it was a long drawn out um, power chords lesson, really, um, which was well and good if you wanted to learn to play power chords. But if you just wanted to quickly know what the chords were, it was just too long and drawn out. And at the end of it, it hadn't really explained how to go about playing the song itself. But if you were learning power chords, it was a brilliant video. And that's sometimes the problem, is picking and choosing which videos. Again, to make money on YouTube, if, if you're putting a lot of time and effort and money into making videos, you kind of want to be making money at it to make money on YouTube. Your videos have got to be 20 minutes long plus. That's how to make the most amount of money. So if you can like draw it out to last as long as you possibly can, then you're going to make more money. But that doesn't necessarily help the person that's learning the video. They've got to listen to an awful lot of waffle. Uh, like we talked about, you know, check me Patreon page, click notifications, because you can possibly think of that yourself. You have to have it all pointed out there. <laughs> Um, which I don't like doing uh, in my videos. I think if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. I don't want to, you don't need me to tell you to do that. Really, to learn to play the guitar, you do need a guide, even if it's not a guitar teacher, because even finding a guitar teacher is kind of difficult to do, and there's different types of guitar teachers. Somebody I was talking with the other day who just started Skype lessons with me, had been to someone else, he didn't say who, um, for guitar lessons. And he found that they were too regimental for him. They were too, all these like, and he found it a little bit too much. Now, I've, I know people who've used that um, regimental way of teaching the guitar and they're very successful with a select few of people. Some people it just doesn't work for. Some people like the relaxed, just showing a couple of riffs, how to play a certain song and that suits them. You get the teacher who only teaches his taste of music, uh, which is all well and good, one I know in particular, but if you don't like Coldplay or Oasis, you've had it, because they are the songs you're going to be learning. I know one guy, he was became really good on guitar, uh, his guitar teacher was teaching him, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai stuff, and he became really good, but that wasn't what he wanted to play, he wanted to play Eric Clapton stuff. So, although he was learning to play the guitar, he wasn't actually learning what he wanted to learn. Then there's the show-off guitar teacher. Uh, one experience I had with a guy said that his first lesson with this, with this guy was the first 20 minutes consisted of name-dropping everybody he'd ever played with, playing Satch Boogie, surfing with the alien, along with backing tracks to prove that he could play the guitar. It left the guy a little bit cold, and all he came away with is all he learned was that the guy was really good on guitar and he played with lots of famous people mm. uh, but that wasn't necessarily going to help him so what you need really is somebody to guide you in the right right direction now people learn in different ways um i read books on like, the, the education system and where it fails and a lot of the reason that the education especially in this country is failed is only because it only serves the top 20 percent so 20 percent of people are kids in the class find the way that they're being taught by sitting at a desk for an hour a successful way of learning many people it doesn't work for them and if you think back to when you were at school if you were in a class of 20 there'd probably be four kids that stood out as except as top of the class and they were generally girls and i think about my class there was three girls that were particularly intelligent one boy who was socially awkward didn't like football who was particularly clever as well the rest of us struggled for mid position and then within the, the league table of, of top of the class. And all we thought about was playtime and when we could play football. Uh, interesting 
when it comes to learning, my oldest son was struggling at school when he was in junior school and the teacher had said that he had dyslexia. And their way of dealing with that was they wanted him to sit in a sandpit and write out letters, which he thought, yeah, you know, how to commit social suicide at school, sit in a sandpit, 10 years old, uh, feeding letters, which uh, didn't work for me. Now, what was interesting, he was struggling with spelling and stuff like that. It was just not going in. I, got, I bought him a packet of football cards and a football album to keep the cards in and he started collecting the football cards along with his younger brother. Uh, now an interesting thing happened. Within the first week of him collecting the football cards, he knew at the time the full Chelsea team, which were all foreign names that I couldn't pronounce or would even hope to be able to spell, but he knew them and he could spell them. because. He knew where every single um, Premier League football ground was in England. So he was learning geography. It then got in with his collecting of the cards. He was learning what countries different players came from. So we're talking learning geography. He was, uh, he was learning about Lionel Messi uh, plays for Barcelona, which is in Spain, but Lionel Messi is from Argentina. He looked into Argentina uh, and how they did in the World Cup. And then he came across the history of how Britain was at war with Argentina during the 1980s. And, the, and he learned all about that. He's learning how to make friends, do deals, almost have business relationships with swapping cards. He's learning about saving money. So he could learn all that from collecting football cards. And he was probably learning more from that than he was actually at school, struggling, being made to feel as if he was failing. And sometimes that's the way people learn. They don't necessarily learn in a regimental way. Sometimes they learn from things they're interested in. Sometimes learning songs that you like is the way because it gives you the motivation to keep going. If somebody's, if you're going to a guitar teacher who's, you know, teaching you how to play Beethoven classical pieces and you want to play like Ozzy Osbourne that's why so many people give up on guitar so really if you're going to learn to play the guitar you can use YouTube videos but you need to be um, using the right ones really learning the guitar you can learn basic chords you can learn that from a video basic chords then you're going to learn how to strum them songs then you're going to move on to bar chords, learn to read a guitar tab, which is going to lead to riffs, which is going to lead to uh, skills and modes and a theory. And all that information is out there on YouTube. The problem is it's being able to find to find the, the right the right one because there's a lot of misinformation out there. So really uh, you need to develop your abilities, you're constantly searching, constantly learning. So, I've talked about for 13 minutes now. The information is out there. Obviously, as a guitar teacher, you are, for me, with doing Skype lessons now, because I'm learning the art of being able to teach somebody the guitar face-to-face, -face, but over a camera. I had to help somebody who was in the USA tune the guitar up via camera. So it's getting me out of this idea that the person's got to be sat in front of me to be able to teach them. And because I'm teaching over Skype and we're talking about different ideas and you're not physically with the person, start using videos to answer some of their questions or explain how to learn things and doing it like in a, hopefully keeping it in a short time scale as opposed to letting it draw out. So the information is out there. Have a search around for, for useful ones. If something's overly long and you're not getting it then move on to something else it's not your fault but have a structure and really find a guitar teacher that suits you that is a guide that is the quickest way you can learn off youtube but it'll probably take longer than if you've got somebody to guide you in the right direction as opposed to looking for so because i don't really like the term guitar teacher because it kind of gives you this idea of that i'm here sitting all with all my knowledge and I, I will now bestow upon you you know all my wisdom and really there was a kid that I taught to play the guitar many years ago and oasis were all the rage and when he came to me for guitar lessons um because i was just doing it for money on the side and i taught him free because he was a friend of the family 
he was into Oasis, he had the hair, he was into Nolan Liam, and he had this acoustic guitar. I showed him chord boxes, how to read the chord boxes. He went away, he learned how to read the chord boxes, came back the next week, he knew basic chords. So I showed him some more. He got to learn how to strum them. Then he needed to look at how to read guitar tabs. So I showed him how to do that. All right, got that. Went away, came back the next week. His dad had bought him a pile of Oasis uh, songbooks with guitar tab in. Then he started working through different Oasis songs, how to play them. And he very quick then it was like, how does that relate the scales? So he's using this skill. Oh, I didn't realize I learned the pentatonic scale. So when he learned that, he learned how to improvise over chord progressions. Um, I didn't feel as if I actually taught taught him. I felt as if I guided him in the di the right direction and gave him some basic points on how to do things. And to me, that's how you kind of learn to play the guitar and you kind of develop who you are. Brian May didn't become Brian May because he went to Bri Brian, somebody who played that style and taught him how to do it. He had to develop it himself. Any great guitarist, Eddie Van Halen didn't go to his guitar teacher and learn how to do two-handed tapping at great speed. He was the one who kind of developed that because he developed it himself. Jimi Hendrix was a melting pot of all these different guitarists. He'd learned to play like and put them all into one and developed his own style. He didn't go to a guitar teacher to, to learn how to play like that. He developed that himself. And that's quite an important point because here on YouTube doing how to play different songs, we're kind of be, being copyists really. And it's always something that's sat uncomfortable with me to a degree is with being a copyist because when I first started doing this, you kind of wanted uh, just to give a brief explanation how to basically play the song. But then from all the comments, people were kind of wanting to know exactly to the letter how to play the song, which I kind of went down that road. But ideally, you don't want to learn to be a copyist. You want to learn to be a guitarist in your own right and to develop that so i hope that helps i hope it answers the question of how you can learn from videos but really you need a guide uh, otherwise it takes longer to get to myself there's no such thing as a self-taught guitarist unless you you know you, you were left in the jungle by uh, your parents with a guitar and a pack of the strings and you learned how to put the strings on and you, you were able to learn a tuning system and how to work it out. There's no such thing because you're going to learn from books, you learn from things you hear. Myself, I'm technically self-taught, but eventually by the time I got to be, I think it was about 23 or 24, I went to college to learn uh, to brush up on theory and different aspects. And even then, a lot of what I've learned to do, I've had to learn to do myself. Uh, there is no school for learning how to work uh, rock songs out by year. Well, not that I know of. Uh, I've had to kind of develop that myself and learn to do, using certain things I learned at college to then develop. But you still have to go to a guitar teacher and have that explained in its speed of the process of a lot. So, as always, thank you for listening to me waffle on and uh, thank you for watching.